Hello YouTube. Today with a little ingenuity we're changing our instant pot into a steam juicer. I took a Fat Daddy O's butt pan, put it in the bottom, added my steamer basket on top with a funnel in the center. That way the steam comes, comes up and kind of makes a circular motion of the steam and that way we get the juice, uh, more juice expressed out of the fruit. We washed our fruit real good and let it drain. Then we put it actually in the um, the strainer basket or steamer basket, and we're going to steam these guys in the instant pot for 15 minutes. If you're going to do this, be sure that your pot's going to close tight. So hang around while it starts steaming, make sure everything's okay. Um, I used a trivet in the bottom of it to get my Fat Daddy O's pan a little bit off the bottom, but you don't have to do that. Uh, I put about a cup and a half, two cups of water in the bottom, set it on 15 minutes. Uh, I let it run about five to six minutes because this is my first time doing it, and I stopped it and opened it up and then started it again. But about 15 minutes is all you need of steaming, and I let it do a cool down on its own for about 30, 40 minutes, then open the lid came in, this is what we had left. As you can see, there's not that many grapes in there. And we're going to end up with a full a full pint of juice when it all is said and done. As you can see, that's how they wilted down. Um, this really worked fantastic. And the juice is so sweet, tastes so good, that I'll be able to take some Pomona's pectin and do a no sugar added grape jam out of this. I mean, it's sweet enough, it doesn't need a drop of sugar in it. I will be doing this more often. I'm going to go get three or four pounds of grapes and let them juice down. And You know, to catch grapes on sale, this is a good opportunity to make you some cheap juice, fresh juice, I may add. It tastes fantastic. We just took the wooden spoon and just kept pushing it through. So some of the pulp started going through this uh, strainer basket. There really wasn't a whole lot left, it was just the skins. I could have probably even ran it through my strainer on the uh, KitchenAid mixer and gotten a little bit more juice out of it, but it wouldn't have been that much. Some people put it in a piece of cheesecloth and twist it, try to get more out of it. But this was good enough for our first time. This had a little bit more of the pulp in it, that'll give it a more of a jam taste. Can't wait to try this. This should make probably two eight ounce jars of jam. Because all we're gonna do is add, bring it to a bowl, add the Pomona's pectin. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't joined our channel, do so. Click on those notification bells. Who knows, we may come up with another way to keep you from having to buy one more gadget in your kitchen. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.